हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन दिस एन एकेडमी ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म सो एज यू नो वेरी वेल लाइक आई हैव स्टार्टेड अ साइंस एंड एक्नोल इन्वायरमेंट सीरीज विद ऑल ऑफ यू स्पेशली फॉर ऑल द सीरियस एस्पिरेंट दोज आर गोइंग फॉर सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन सो एज आई प्रोमिस यू इन द लियर लेसन लाइक इन द कमिंग सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस विद यू अवर सम ऑफ प्रिडम्स क्वेश्चन पेपर विद ऑल ऑफ यू सो लिटली दे इज ऑल द इंटायर लेसन दोज आई मेड फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू it will be very very beneficial for everyone those guys are going for civil service ex examination as a serious aspirant so in this entire session i would like to discuss with about the prelims question paper of 2020 20 so what was the question paper of prelims 2020 20 and see this this all the informations that i just brought uh, even making here all the videos like uh, here in the next coming videos also will upload here on the youtube session it will really very beneficial and one thing more guys even it will really open your eyes to understand about the science and technology as the science and technology is not only the current affairs based subject here you must have to follow our entire static parts as like the traditional subject of history politics economy geography you are doing so you must have to follow the science and technology in the same pattern so let us start guys i will not waste our time and this is a lesson number 2 and i hope in the previous lesson you already have listened that is Uh, really even very beneficial so before going to start the lesson i would like to introduce myself my name is dr ravi agrahari i have done my phd from iit delhi and i'm working as a director of purvanchal i said gorakhpur for face to face classes where all the delhi based faculties are coming and taking your entire classes so i'm taking your classes for science and environment as a faculty for civil service examinations from last 18 years i'm taking upsc civil services classes 1000 plus selections already happen in the various examinations So I have published two books, and all the two books even published on Magra Hill platform. The one is on science and technology, and second is on environment. Science and technology is a highly selling book of in the India guys right now. So it's a Telegram platform, Telegram channel that I recommend to all of you regarding all the entire PDF. You go and download this PDF and save your time. No need to go and make all the entire notes. You are wasting a lot and a lot and a lot of your time, guys, and your time is very precious a lot. Okay, this is a platform where all the entire PDF and a part of PDF, all the video links. all the video links even i also share there so kindly connect with me on the telegram it will be really very beneficial to everyone and see my all the plus classes even iconic subscription classes if you want to listen so you people connect with this platform uh, academy profile and academy.com oblique at the rate of ravi p agar 2010 and here a part of the plus and iconic courses that is a paid courses some special classes i am also taking here that is free of cost for all of you so paid courses and special classes both are available on an academy profile i will suggest to all of you kindly follow me here it will be really very beneficial to everyone guys and one thing more even whenever you are going to join any of the classes or courses so ravi upsc is the code whenever you will use it you will get extra 10% discount in your entire courses it's a best educator for the upsc csc platform where the academy is providing all the live sessions as my live session you can also find out it is available in the academy with the science and environment as all the experienced faculties of india right now they are available in the academy that are really providing a great and a great even the classes for all of you that will be very very beneficial to crack your civil services examinations easily guys so it's an academy civil services championship then it is going to schedule on the 27 march don't miss it guys here you will get a lot of scholarship and the prizes of up to 15 crore so kindly enroll it now without wasting your single minutes guys so it's a flat it's a flat unlock 20 uh, here you people are getting the 20% of discount the flat discount and if you people are using the code of ravi upsc so whenever you people are using the code of ravi upsc so you will get a flat 20% discount and see this last date is up to 16 march so don't miss this opportunity guys of 20% of flat discount and here the flat discount you will get with the name with the help of educator code my code is ravi upsc see the flash saving of the plus combo and the iconic combo those are available uh, beyond 12 months onwards if you people are taking any courses you will get this type of discount so don't miss this opportunity guys and but i'll suggest to all of you about the iconic combo is the best for all of you what about the beauty of iconic combo i'll tell you in the last guys wait so an academy light prelims and csat test series are even started right now for the 2022 and 2023 prelims exam 50000 plus enrollment already has done okay and here i'll not tell you guys you waste a single minutes again to join the test series and see the huge number of students who join this is not in any other platforms in the india guys so it's a great trust with the with the an academy with all of the serious aspirants so we are providing the 6 month and the 12 month subscription with all of you so kindly join us and enjoy these all the beautiful test series and that will really very beneficial 
So now we are here into the science and ecology of prelims question paper analysis of 2020-20 and this analysis with the whole entire question paper will be very beneficial to all of you. So see guys the first question that UPSC asks you can see here right now and this chapter in the beginning I'll even whenever I'm going to discuss any of the questions just after the read out, reading out the question guys I'll tell you like from which chapter this question came. In that way you will understand literally which kind of chapters are required in civil services preparation with science and technology. See the first question as UPSC has according to India's national policy, India's national policy on biofuel, which of the following can be used as a raw material for the production of biofuels. So India's national policy in biofuel came in 2018 and what is the biofuel do you know guys the biofuel and the fuel those are derived from the biomasses. So fuel those are derived from the biomasses is a biofuel guys. Biomass lot of the plant averages and even the uh, even the you know the uh, excretas organic waste those are all are available and even they can be decomposed with the bacteria also they are the biomasses and biomass derived fuel is called as a biofuel okay now the question is what about the raw material those we can use according to india's national policy in biofuel for the production of biofuel there are many examples of biofuel like ethanol is a very common methanol is a very common not only ethanol and methanol are part of guys biodiesel is also very common so now ultimately here ups is asking what about the raw material those we can use as a biofuel productions so how you will guess this question guys even all the entire energy chapter the one thing i'll telling you like this is the energy chapter based questions okay so this chapter here those upsc made questions upsc made it is the energy okay and see biofuel is very important topic for all of you even whenever you see the question paper of last 11 years question paper so around six to seven times upsc has a question from biofuel it is not the first time but here which raw material we can use for the production of biofuel guys i'll tell you one thing guys okay those raw materials even can be used for the ethanol and biodiesel production they are the they are the they are the main sources those we are using but condition apply guys the condition is here if suppose any of the biomasses have not any users okay any of the biomasses not have any users okay the better why not we do the we go with the production of biofuels reason biofuels are costly reason biofuels are costly so biofuel are costly even any of the food items if any of the edible edible plants any of the edible plants are food items Okay, any of the edible plants are food item. If the edible value is very less, just like this plants you are going to sell in the market, which have a addition, uh, edible values, okay, feeding values. So here, here the prices are very less. But if you people are going to convert this product into ethanol or biodiesel type of substances, and this, this cost is higher. So definitely the people will not use it as an edible plant. People will like to sell in the market as a, as a, as a biofuel production. And on that basis, this answer you must have to guess, guys. The question paper is not like that you go and mug up all the fact and figures like it's a cassava is there, damaged wheat grain is there, rounded seed is there, house grain is there, rotten potato is there, sugar beets are not there. I'm just telling you how you will guess the answer guys. Very simple. Those all the food, those all the all the plants guys, okay, are very nominal prices, not even the very good values. And if we people can convert their own biomasses yeah, some of the, you know, some contents, some of the uh, compounds of the plants can be used for the biodiesel, the ethanol production. So I hope you know variable guys, ethanol and biodiesel are even costly than the normal of the plants and food food materials. So in that case, it can be used. Groundnut, I hope you heard it guys, groundnut seeds we are using, we are eating it because it's very, very costly. Even when the groundnut seeds based even the ethanol production, yeah, anything you people are doing, so the prices are not very high. And that's why the groundnut seed will be never used as a raw material. Same thing in the case of gra horse gram, guys, like it is also very, very costly. Okay, if this type of gram you will go for the biodiesel production, still it will be not good. So ultimately, this question is actually on the basis of IQ. On the basis of IQ. But cassava, damaged wheat grains, damaged wheat grain has not even the values. Rotten potatoes. Okay, those potatoes going to destroy their guys have a good source of starch we can use for the production of biodiesel. Sugar beet, sugar beet if you people are going to use for the sugar productions. Okay, and the value of per kg of sugar if you see and the value of the sugar beet based ethanol production you see. The per liter of ethanol production you see. So definitely ethanol price is higher than the sugar beet. The sugar beet we can use it. So ultimately what about the answer you know understood guys. A part of groundnuts and the horse grain reach rest of all. Rest of all we can, we can use as a biofuel production. So the question is what the question is concept based. Why I'm telling you the question is concept but next time UPSC can ask you, can give you some other 10, 50 other examples. But on the basis of IQ, you must have to find out the answer if the, if the plant have a less edible values and more have a about the ethanol or biodiesel have, have values. So definitely in that cases we can use it. Okay, so definitely in that cases we can use it. Second one guys, second question, the first question was based on energy. The second question is also based on solar water pump. So it is also based on energy. Another question UPSC asked, it is also from energy chapter, solar water pump. 
so what actually the upsc question is with reference to solar water pump consider the following statement okay consider the following statement so one statement solar power can be used for running the running surface pump not the submersible pump okay second point solar power can be used for running centrifugal pumps not the one with have a piston see guys one thing if any of the pumps you people are running so you must be clear the solar pump is working with the help of solar panel and solar panel always above the ground always above the ground so solar panel is already receiving the sunlight receiving the sunlight and now the battery is going to charge with the help of solar panel it is the general general working principle of the solar panel guys a pump either you are putting into the into the on the surface yeah you are putting under the submersible submersible means deeply in the ground does not matter guys but a source of energy is upside pump you put into the ground you put you put uh, your pump you put deeply in the ground does not matter so either it's a surface pump yeah it's a submersible pump does not matter okay solar power solar power can be used for the for, for the running of bore to pump so ultimately this answer is wrong because solar panel is above the above the soil guys pump location you can change either the ground on the underground okay submersible person does not matter again i repeat because so, uh, photovoltaics that is that is receiving the sunlight it is above the ground so ultimately both pump in that case working so but here it is a wrong answer the reason is it is mentioning this like it can be used for the running surface pump not for the submersible pump so here either it's a surface or uh, yeah submersible pump in both two cases we can use the solar pump okay one part the second one solar power can be used for the running centrifugal pumps and not for the piston pump see either it's a centrifugal Pump, yeah, it's a piston pump. Any kind of pump does not matter. Both have a need of electricity. Both have a need of power, guys. Both have a need of power. So ultimately, power is already coming. Now, power is already coming from the top base photovoltaic. So it is also wrong, guys. Ultimately, this is also the question of IQ base. So neither one nor two will be the correct answer. Okay, here the pump position. If you are doing changes, if the type of pumps you are going to going to use different type of, so here does not matter, guys. On the basis of IQ, actually the solar panel is always always above the ground. pump location ya types of pump not matter guys because sunlight is already already utilizing for the power generation upside from the ground pump and position does not matter types of uh, pump also not matter fine see the third question guys so second question was also energy question further you see the third question guys third question consider the following statement and the question is based on coal ash so first part coal ash contain arsenic lead and mercury second part coal fire plant release a sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide in the environment and third one high ash content is observed in the indian coal see guys actually coal ash again i'm telling you this is the energy based chapter and this question is the third times third time in this question upsc has in your paper first time this question was in 2011 12 second side this question was in 2014 around and third time this question came in 2020 around and now the problem is there guys you people never read the question papers and in the market that you people are saying it's not you people guys everybody is saying the science that it is a current affairs based so coal ash is a current affairs okay whenever the question already came in 12 14 and again it is coming under uh, it, it came in the 2020 so how it is a current affairs based the problem is here guys like you people are not going to make a correct answer from the science and technology whatever you people are doing the study question is not coming to you are going to divert the ball like it is a current affairs based but the question is static what is the coal ash guys do you know what is the what is the coal ash after burning of coal those residual material left is called as a coal ash you remember guys and if 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 burning of coal is not good in that case the amount of coal ash is very high even in the static part of the plus classes iconic classes on academy even in my phase to phase of entire institution where i'm taking the classes i discovered that the coal ash content will be very high if the burning of coal is not good okay and see one thing more guys if if burning of coal is not good the more amount of coal ash content generated and see one thing more guys naturally inside the coal have already presence of heavy metals and heavy metal means arsenic lead and mercury this arsenic lead and mercury never melts and that is the reason wherever the coal ash content left ultimately there is a possibility of heavy metals like arsenic lead and mercury inside the coal ash and see this is the question that upsc also has in 2011 prelims again i repeat this is also a question that upsc has in 2011 prelims and what is the question from the coal power plants coal fire power plants release sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxide you know in 2011 the same question came from thermal power plant upsc has from thermal power plant from thermal power plant. thermal power plant means where we are doing the burning of coal 
from thermal power plant which type of um, polluting gases emit in the atmosphere co2 so2 or nox co2 so2 or nox so you remember guys all was a correct answer in 2011 similar question again upsc repeated from the coal fire power plants sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide generated so sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide definitely generated so this second option is also right and highest content observed in the indian coal this is right guys because indian coal is the average coal Indian coal is a average coal or below average coal. Okay, below average coal, and this is the reason if burning of coal is not good. So that's why the content is higher, and that's why here in this case the answer is right. So in this case, what will be the correct answer, guys? All will be the correct answer. This question is static. There is no current affairs. This question is logic. No current affairs. And the other one, this question is repeated questions. Repeated questions. Repeat. If you people have a my science and technology book, you can find out this question also came twice and thrice in your paper, guys. Twelve, fourteen, and 20 fourth questions that qpsc asked in 2020 question is actually based on biochar what is the use of biochar farming actually biochar is also upsc questions and this topic based questions is actually firstly came in 2012 13 around when the upsc make a question about biomass gasification okay okay when the upsc made a question of biomass gasification Further, UPSC made a question in 2019 that is called pyrolysis. The same question of UPSC paper guys as a static type, and the third time UPSC asked the question is called as a biochar. So it's the third time UPSC asked the question from the same topic of biomass gasifications. Okay, actually you know what is a biochar? Biochar is a residual material. As coal ash is a residual material after burning of coal, biochar is a residual material of the biomass gasification process. whenever biomass gasification process happen in that biomass gasification process also have a also have a residual material also have a residual material and this residual material is called as a biochar this residual material is called as a biochar if you see the biochar guys biochar is beneficial in many aspects actually biochar have a lot of biochar have a lot of nutrient contents biochar have a nitrogen nitrogen biochar have a phosphorus you know nitrogen phosphorus we can use as a fertilizer So, if biochar you will apply into the field crop, guys. So, nitrogen fertilities are there, phosphorus fertility is there. So, ultimately, what about the microorganisms are into the soil? Their productivity increases. Okay, UPSC. So, what actually the biochar is? I hope everybody clear. What actually UPSC asked this question? UPSC question is there. Biochar can be used as a part of growing medium in the vertical farming. So, here the one one option should be no, guys. About vertical farming, do you know or not? second one when biochar is a part of the growing medium it promotes the growth of the nitrogen fixing makes fixing microorganisms okay second part third part when biochar is a part of growing medium it enables the growing medium to retain water for the longer time see guys vertical farming vertical farming means we are growing a plant upside from the ground guys okay vertical means uh, through the help of some artificial process uh, we are growing the plant above the ground guys with the help of some strategy and here in that cases if you want to provide a fertility to the crop to so do do the mixing of biochar Okay, biochar already have a nitrogen and phosphorus compound, and nitrogen and phosphorus are the are the what are the fertilizer. So ultimately, vertical farming in that case as a growing media. Okay, biochar we can use one side. The second question when biochar is a part of growing media, it promote the growth of nitrogen mixing organism. Why not? Because lot of the supplementary of nitrogen is there. If lot of the supplementary of nitrogen fertilizer is there, so ultimately those microorganism have a need of nitrogen. They will do active, and their growth will increases. already fertility factor is coming there the second is also right the third one when the biochar even you know the farmers are doing the mixing of biochar suppose this is a soil suppose this is a soil and this is a root content when the farmers are doing the mixing of biochar in the soil when the farmers are doing the mixing of biochar in the soil um now when you apply the water guys so now the water is not going to leach down into the into the ground table guys so for more duration of time here what happen guys for more duration of time here the water retention capacity increases um now farmer only apply once or twice even the irrigations it will be enough for the growth of the plants because roots are growing towards the upper layer of the soil and whenever the water is available towards the upper layer of the soil it will be enough for the growth of plants those you can see here in the case of biochar so ultimately here 1 2 and 3 all statement right okay see the fourth question guys fourth question upsc made from the iaea okay in india why are there some nuclear reactors kept under international atomic energy agency safeguards why others are not it is again the energy chapter but this chapter is connecting with the ir international relations iaea again i repeat in india why are some nuclear reactors kept under iaea safeguard iaea means international atomic energy agency guys international atomic energy agency is also popular as a nuclear watchdog this is very very popular with the name of nuclear watchdog okay this is also very very popular with the name of nuclear watchdog 
what will come in the case of nuclear watchdog you must be clear guys actually uh, actually you know they are they are they are doing the restrictions of the world wide that nuclear energy should be useful for peaceful purposes not for the destructive uses the same uranium we can use one side for the electricity generation another side we can use the uranium for the atom bomb so ultimately in the case of ia what is the function that as it is working as a nuclear watchdog so nuclear energy should be useful for the peaceful purposes not for destructive uses okay and see one thing more guys okay why why iaea iaea reactors some other, some reactors are allowed some are not allowed that type of question ups here the reason is very simple guys actually actually india is taking the help from the other countries okay see the upsc asked the question what is the option here you first see later on i'll i'll try to help you to make this answer correct in india why are some nuclear reactors kept under iaea safeguards while others not so in some of the reactors india allow iaea you come and you watch my reactors but other reactors india not allowed okay see the one reason some use uranium and others use thorium no guys it is not like that okay some use imported uranium others use domestic supply it is right actually you know to run our reactors to run our reactors we are we are taking the help of some other countries there is possibility and even maximum possibilities are there if any of the reactors are running in india with the help of foreign nations in this case of reactors government is allowed in this case of reactor government is allowed okay because these type of the in this area those reactor is working here we are taking the help from the other country you check watch we are not misusing this type of reactors for any other purposes like atom bomb formation or not or and all here we are utilizing this reactor only for the power generations one part okay one part but why domestic reactor even the government not allowed the reason is government domestic is running with the help of my own technology so why if i my own technology based reactors i'll allow you to come and check but india has their own moral values or not so definitely in that cases here the ia is allow only for the those reactors that you can see here which is running with the help of imported uranium or foreign assistance okay but domestic supply is based is not 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 allow for ia fifth question sixth question that upsc has the sixth question is based on vlc VLC is what with reference to visible light communication technology which of the following statement are correct UPSC bulletin 2020 this question is repeated from 2016 2017 in 2016 17 UPSC asked the question with the name of lifi most of this experience they miss this answer they miss this questions reason they don't know the another name of lifi is a visible light communications lifi is a light fidelity i hope most of you people know very well and this is the reason these all the videos will open your eye guys upsc ask even the questions that earlier as even 3 4 years back in your paper and around up to six question that you people have seen here at least two to three question you already have seen that upsc repeated not here guys even i watch around 20 to 30 percent of question paper is going to repeat repeat and repeat and the science and tech is more in number guys science and tech only have more in numbers so now the question is with reference to visible light communication technology which of the following statements are correct c1 vlc uses electromagnetic spectrum wavelength 375 to 70 definitely guys in the case of visible light communication we are using visible light we are using visible light you know what about the frequency what about the wavelength of visible light around 380 nanometer to 760 nanometer around 380 nanometer to 760 nanometer so 380 to 760 nanometer is called as a visible light okay and here the range is around 380 to 760 so this is right answer I see one thing more, guys. VLC is known as a long-range optical wireless connection. No, guys. VLC is only used for small uses. Small uses. Why small uses? Because visible light cannot go more distance. Even in the case of Wi-Fi, in the case of mobile phone, in the case of tower, we people are using the radio waves. And radio waves can go up to more distance, guys. Radio waves can go up to more distance. Even you know the neighbor wala Wi-Fi is also coming to your to your to your house, guys. Sometimes you are also trying the password of the neighbor neighbor Wi-Fi. sometimes their own birthday sometimes their own marriage anniversary date even sometimes some you people also got the uh, got the uh, you know password password even also in that cases i'm just telling it is not a long range connection you know very well because it is a short range radio wave based you know the wifi and all is a more range okay and one thing more visible light you people know very well if inside the room those i'm taking your classes okay in this in this room okay those visible light is running in my surrounding guys so here have a brick wall and this this visible light will not across across a brick wall so how it can go more distance it is not possible third one vlc can transmit the large amount of data faster than bluetooth definitely guys in the case of lifi or visible light herald has invented this technology in 2010 2011 so 2010 2011 the lifi and vlc technology invented 
okay i mean still you are saying this is the current affairs so you are literally duffer and the fool guys in 2010 11 what herald has done how it is a current affairs current affairs so it was in 2010 11 the problem is that you people have a less knowledge and people are not going to define properly the science and technology in this way of strategies and all and that's why this all the entire video will be very beneficial to you guys see one thing more guys the potential of the you know the potential of life fi or vlc is what up to 224 gps if you people will read my book up you uh, you know science and technology micro health publications i mentioned here guys the 224 gbps the potential 224 gbps do you know it's a my god type of it my god type of speed guys so this is also right so definitely it is faster than the faster than the bluetooth bluetooth does not uh you know uh in front of uh, uh you know this uh life fi or vlc type of connections that is also right vlc has a no electromagnetic interference this is right guys actually you know what happened if if any of the mobile phone you are using in front of televisions and suddenly some callings are coming so ultimately your your television has something have uh, some disturbances interferences there but you know in the case of in the case of li-fi te technology a visible type of technology have no interferences and no disturbances so this is the reason one is right third is right and fourth is right so c option is 100 percent right i hope you can understand See the seven technology, seven questions. Here the seventh question is based on blockchain technology. Okay, blockchain technology based question is also repeated. Before this, the question was also UPSC 2016 films. Again, question repeated. Okay, with reference to blockchain technology, consider the following statement. C1, it is a public laser. Definitely, guys, blockchain technology is called as an open laser, a public laser. This is the technology those everybody can access what is going on in your surroundings every moment of time. So it's a public laser, it's right. And okay, and here everyone can inspect what is going on. So it is not under the control of single person. This is absolutely right. And even when the Arun Jetty was a finance minister, he spoken in the coming future, we will bring the blockchain technology. Okay, definitely guys, whenever the blockchain technology will come, so definitely the corruption, a lot of things, even what about the money distribution, everything will be much more fair. The people will not involve to do corruptions. Even if any of the government schemes and programs, if connect under the blockchain technology, that will really very successful program. And at each and every level, the people can watch that the system is going to be fair, fair and fair. So nobody will involve in any kind of corruption. So how beautiful thought of the Arun, uh, uh, yeah, like, uh, you know, Arun Jaitley had earlier, you people can see here. So public laser is right, absolutely right. The second question, the structure and design of blockchain is such that the data in the about a cryptocurrency. No, 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 guys, it is okay. It was firstly used in the case of Bitcoin, a cryptocurrency. But I'm just telling you, PC in the in the case of socialist scheme, in the case of programming. So here it is not, it is not for the cryptocurrency only only and most of the cases if UPSC is going to bias with the only so that option is right I'm sorry wrong so your cryptocurrency is not the only the reason guys other uses of government schemes and programs we can also connect the blockchain technology but again I repeat first time the blockchain technology was used and got popularity during the transaction during the Bitcoin transaction when in 2017 the whole world even suffer with the ransomware attack again I repeat whole world suffer with the ransomware attack Third question, application that depend on the basic feature of blockchain can be developed without anybody's permission. See guys, in this case, I'll telling you, I'm telling you, you listen guys, okay. <clears throat> Okay, so this statement is right. Okay, this statement is right. Application that depend on the basic feature of blockchain can be developed without anybody's permission. Definitely. The reason it is an open ledger. So everybody is watching into the areas and into the network. What is going on? Here, third party is not required to take a permission. Like in the case, suppose I want to transfer one rupiah to you people guys in your account. So how I can transfer one rupiah to your account? Very simple. I, ha I must have to take a support of intermediate, the third person and third person maybe any bank maybe any paytm but in the case of blockchain technology you have no need of anything because it is a it is an open laser and here everybody whatever you people are doing into the network they can watch and that is the reason anybody's permission is not required without anybody's permission it is already proved okay and that is the reason first and third statement is right in the classroom program of cyber security i explain a lot about the blockchain technology blockchain technology and blockchain technology even in the case of cyber security system our cyber system will also be more safe and secure whenever the blockchain technology only will introduce in India and it's somehow okay we people have started to use the blockchain technology next question question number eight question number eight is the question of uh, information communication technology but I can tell you information communication technology this is also connecting with the cyber security and the question is about the cyber insurance so question in India under cyber insurance for individuals which of the following benefits are generally covered in addition to the payment for the loss of the fund and other benefits okay so what about the even cyber insurance kind of terms got very popular four five years back 
Even I heard it like ICICI Lombard, ICICI Lombard, they are providing the cyber insurance of 1.5 CR. Recently, I checked the ICI's Lombard are providing their own 4 to 5 crore rupees based cyber insurance. I hope you heard about the health insurance, you, you, you heard about the life insurance. I'm not telling you but more information about the cyber insurance. Okay, many of the cyber threats happen on your computer guys and you are getting any monetary losses yeah you people have the loss of some softwares your yeah, computer is going to have a problems yeah you people are going to file some of the cases against somebody someone else that creates some problem on you in all the cases entire cases cyber insurance will help you financial help okay ultimately in this case of any loss of funding happen and anything happen so cyber insurance will fulfill that one requirement so ultimately the cost of restoration of the computer system in case of any malware disruption happen access to one's computer definitely right Access, access to one's computer uh, definitely guys if any of the malware is what any kind of viruses or programming attack that disturb your computers and you are getting some losses so that all the losses cost all the losses cost cyber insurance will be your one part it is right cost of a new computer is some miscreant with fully damages with fully means you wanted to damage your computer in that case is no unknowingly happen somebody even attack on your computer in that case so this is wrong actually intensely you are going to put your computer through your computer in that case cyber insurance will give you funding of course no intentionally not okay so willfully damages here here there is no 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 benefit you will get it third one cost of hiring a specialized consultant to minimize the loss in case of cyber restoration definitely guys any person you can appoint it any court of law if any case is going to file whether third party or anything else any any losses or financial losses you have happened so that financial losses even cyber insurance is going to be here so ultimately here one three and four and by the way guys even you have a this much of iq you can easily find out that willfully damages will not have any compensation in the case of cyber insurance next question question number nine and the ninth question is here upsc made a question from public infrastructure so in india the term public infrastructure is used in the context of 2020 20 okay see public infrastructure also the part of cyber security okay actually you know guys uh, the public infrastructure pki is very very popular and here we are doing this we, we are doing the study of uh, uh, you know that is called as a distance certificates here uh, certificates we people are using to connect a person to authorize a person and it is used for the in the case of the cyber security structure so definitely digital security infrastructure is a correct answer in the case of public infrastructure as digital certificates just like uh, you know digital locker and all we are doing similarly here we are going to connect and identify the digital certificates so digital digital locker is providing you all the all the documents and everything into the digital formats okay and they are going to verify okay and these certificates are the part of digital locker as a certificates and these all the certificates we are connecting and try to save the cyber security system this all the digital certificates are popularly called as a public key infrastructure pki question number 10 guys question number 10 what is the question number 10 this is the information and here upsc make a question a question from drones and this drones is a civilian drones okay there are two types of drone guys drones are a kind of uavs uavs means unmanned aerial vehicles unmanned aerial vehicles. this is called unmanned aerial vehicles unmanned aerial vehicles so no human being is there okay this is also called as a many name like remotely piloted vehicles this is called as a pilotless targeted aircraft many of the names are there okay the question is there with the help of uh, spraying pesticides on a field crop inspecting the craters of the active volcanoes collecting the breath samples from spouting waves for DNA analysis at the present level of technology which of the above activities can be successfully carried out by the using drone see guys all three right pesticides you people can spray very easily with the help of uh, drones you you people can guess very easily even you people can see the many of the videos also even the craters of volcanoes okay how much the craters areas are there okay that all the in even the pollution level is there you people can do the also inspection because human being is not possible to watch about ever the volcanoes due to massive heat and temperatures and even smoke also so somehow somehow this machine can go and take the better picture and images of craters okay in in the volcanoes those generated and third one collecting the breath samples even you know when the whale fish is coming upside from the water but whale is not a fish is a mammal i hope you know very well there's there's doing the expiration process expiration means forcibly they are releasing their own gas outside in that case a lot of the breath samples are releasing okay saliva breath samples and even dead cell and tissues are also there so uh, he, what, what the scientists are doing scientists are collecting these all the breath spouting samples breathing samples and doing their doing their own studies and all through the help of dna analysis because into the breath sample what is there 
the whale fish uh, you know the whale uh, mammals and all they, their own cells are there inside the cells nucleus and dna's are there so and if if this whale got the infection because of any diseases so dna level studies become possible with the help of breath sample so in this case all the three option will be right guys question number 11 and the question number 11 is very interesting question and upsc made a question from artificial intelligence first time in my knowledge of last uh, 1979 to till now till now means 2021 and 79 is the year when the upsc have started the prelims examinations like the before 79 upsc had only and only mains examinations okay so that is what i am telling you till now first time i have seen okay artificial intelligence based question upsc made see the question with the with the present state of development artificial intelligence can effectively do which of the following so again i repeat with the present state of development artificial intelligence can effectively do which of the following see the one questions bringing down electricity consumption in the scenario definitely it is possible guys automatically electricity consumption can be stop yeah whenever it is required it is it can be automatically on create meaningful short stories and songs you people know very well about the alexa type of things uh, disease diagnosis is also possible uh, through the help of artivitic data lab Artivitic data lab is a kind of sensors. Those you can pinch into the body through arteries and veins. It will screen the whole entire body and check what kind of abnormality is going to be happen. In the case of artificial intelligence chapter, even in the book also, I mention all the entire informations. Text to speech conversation, conversation. You know very well, guys. Alexa is the best examples. Even uh, your mobile phone have a Siri. You can also know. And Google Assistant, you also know. Wireless transmission of electricity is also possible in the case of in the case of artificial intelligence. So this is what this and how the wireless transmission of electricity is possible. That is called as electricity. Ab uh, now it is not possible to discuss here, but I'll explain with you here. Artificial intelligence can also be successful, even can be used here, guys. Okay, even even in these cases, guys. Uh, very very flex uh, flexibilities in the case of answer which is the correct and which one is not here okay fine i see the uh, 12 questions here again have a lot of confusions okay but i'll telling you guys what upsc has given the answer in 2020 20 mains examinations see the question number 12 with reference with reference with reference okay what is there the experiment will imply uh, sorry 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 so this is the questions with reference with reference to carbon nanotubes consider the following statement see the question is coming even came from the nanotechnology you must be clear question came from nanotechnology question is here with reference to carbon nanotubes consider the following statements one they can be used as a carrier of drugs and antigens in the human body okay so with the help of nanotechnology okay it is 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 it possible to carry a drugs and antigen in the human body yes definitely it is right and that's why drug targeting is possible and that's why drug targeting is possible and this is the drug targeting was another question of upsc examination 2018 prelims and further upsc make a question of 2020 prelims the first statement was already have a one of the upsc questions see the second question they can be made into the artificial blood capillaries for an injured part of the human body definitely guys artificial blood capillaries are possible because they are the organic compound based and see carbon tubes is also carbon made material carbon electrodes and that is the reason it is a possible okay third question it can be used in the biochemical sensor definitely guys a lot of chips and sensor we can develop and we can implant into the body through that of cnt also possible and fourth one cnt is a biodegradable even not only cnt fullerene even fullerene even graphene even graphene even cnt all are entirely made up by carbon compound and only and only carbon is there and carbon is what carbon are the biodecomposable okay so here here the here the biological decomposable is possible decomposition is possible and that is the reason in this case carbon to sub biodegradable this is also right but one thing i will tell you guys 1 2 3 4 all are right but upsc even prefer the answer is a 1 3 and 4 reason the second one as a artificial blood capillary is also possible even i got the news through the help of various journals but upsc mention only 1 2 and 3 are correct that's why i am telling you it is a upsc answer but logically answer should be 1 2 3 4 both matlab all sorry all next question question number 13 and here the question number 13 is actually based on particle physics see particle physics and those all the 11 chapter i spoken you in the lesson 1 previous lecture those i uploaded even it is uploaded on the youtube platform and academy you people already have seen what actually the question number 13 the experiment will employ a trio space craft flying in the formation in the shape of in the shape of an equilibrium triangle that has sides 1 million kilometer long with laser shining between the craft 
what text within the question refers to actually it is the kind of e lisa project evolve lisa project evolve lisa project and see earlier this this project was also upsc question in 2016 prelims and the same type of questions topic based again repeated in 2020 prelims but again the people are saying it is a current affairs current affairs and current affairs really guys it is very shocking that people are not connecting with the static parts and any of the question if you are not getting directly from the classroom discussion so you are diverting the ball toward the another side and there you are saying like it is a current affairs base you are totally wrong your knowledge is very limited and upsc already repeated the question from 16 to 20 you go and check even the book of mine those i'm telling you in 16 the particle fields have a same question of elisa project <coughs> sorry further this question came in 2020 prelims examinations actually you know it is the space based observatory it is the space based observatory those those european space agency and american space agencies are working now Okay, in the coming future, there is a possibility by 2035, 35, three spacecraft combination will be used in millions kilometer far. 5 into 10 power something, 7 and all, 6, 7 here again and again. And with the help of trio spacecraft, three spacecraft, three spacecraft, okay, three spacecraft in equilateral triangle. Okay, uh, the European Space Agency, American Space Agency have a planning to detect about the gravitational waves. Those gravitational waves are passing from the, from the, fr uh, even in the space from some height of the Earth's surface, guys. And this ELISA project will be literally very beneficial in the coming future. Okay. And somehow earlier the EVOL LISA based project experiment studies even also have done by European Space Agency. But that time American Space Agency due to lack of funding in 2014-15 even surrender. No, no, I am not interesting. But listen, I right now have a news guys in the case of E-LISA e project, yeah, EVOL LISA project. Now European Space Agency and American Space Agency both are coming together to make this entire project successful. Okay, now see the 14 question guys, question number 14 and question number 14 is a consider the following statement. One question, genetic changes can be introduced in the cells that produce the egg or sperms of the prospective parent. Okay, so is it possible to do the genetic therapy in the egg and or sperm level? Definitely yes guys. In the case of gene therapy, what we can do guys, if any of the parents have some genetic defect, you take the sperm and egg. You do the screening of the sperm and egg based DNA and genomic sequences, cut the DNA through the restriction enzyme and finally integrate the normal DNA sequences. So when the repairing happened from the egg and sperm in, uh, through defective genes, so ultimately what happened? Now the babies are going to free from the genetic defect. So this is possible guys in the case of first. But one thing I will tell you, this type of gene therapy is very lengthy process, time taking process. Okay. See the second point, the person's genome can be edited before birth at, at, at the early embryonic stage. Also possible guys, at the early embryonic stage we can also do the genomic sequences editing and all through the help of various gene editing technology okay second one third one human induced pluripotent cell ip you know human induced pluripotent cell can be injected into the embryo of the pig definitely it is possible to implant into it okay and that that also experiment becomes successful in the recent past okay fine See the next one guys about the question number 15. Question number 15 here UPSC asks, in the context of recent advances in the human reproductive technology that is pro-nuclear transfer technology is used for. Okay, pre-nuclear tech, pro-nuclear technology is also called as a three parents baby. Three parents baby. Okay, three parents baby. And this is also called as a mitochondrial gene therapy. This is also called as a mitochondrial gene therapy. You must be clear. Mitochondrial gene therapy. Actually, you know, guys, what happened here in the case of pro-nuclear transfer or three-parent baby or mitochondrial gene therapy? Listen, guys. Actually, we all people are getting the cytoplasm as cell organelles from our mother. And if our mother is having a problem into the mitochondria, yeah, cell organelle based, uh, cytoplasmic based cell organelles, mitochondria and all. So through the help of another lady mitochondria, we can shut out these problems. Okay, and that is the reason guys, uh, prevention of mitochondrial disease is possible with the help of another lady. Okay, the another lady means adopted mother that mitochondria we are using, but own mother nucleus we are using and own father nucleus we are using. Which nucleus? Those are available into the, into the cell guys of sperm and egg. But other mother mitochondria is used. So in that way, there are three combinations happen and own mother based mitochondria genomic defects. Now it can be treated with the help of another mother and that is the possible through the help of three parents baby or mitochondrial gene therapy. See the next one guys about the pneumococcal conjugate vaccine based questions that UPSC has in 2020. UPSC has what is the importance of using the PCV. Okay, PCV means pneumococcal conjugate vaccine in India. The one part, these vaccines are effective against the pneumonia. 
these vaccines are effective against the pneumonia as well as meningitis and sepsis see one thing guys this is absolutely right pneumococcal conjugate vaccine is not only useful for one it is used for many cases against many other diseases so the first statement is right second statement that UPSC has dependence on antibiotics that are not effective against the drug resistance bacteria can be reduced okay again I repeat dependence on antibiotics that are not effective against the drug resistance bacteria can be reduced this is also right guys so dependency on antibiotics that are not effective against the drug resistance bacteria can be reduced absolutely right in that cases the you know the drug resistance type of cases will not generate third one these vaccines have no side effect no guys the vaccines have also some side effect as as the kids are even children are suffering with the, some fever and something is possible and cause no allergic reaction definitely have an allergic reaction that's why have some side effect even in the case of vaccine guys Whenever the kids are taking the vaccine, generally they have some 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 expressions, some side effects. Already, it is very very common. That's why some fever is going to ri rise, and other doctor giving them paracetamol or something. The so one and two is statement right here. The third is absolutely wrong. See the one more question, guys. This is the last question of 2020. And see, 17 questions is a huge number of questions of science and technology. Now nobody can say, sir, three questions are coming, or seven questions are coming, or 12 questions are coming. So ultimately, the number of questions, 15 plus here, 17 questions, and this will prove that. 17 questions that UPSC has in your paper, which of the following statements are correct regarding the general difference between the plant and animal cells? Again, I repeat, which of the following statements are correct regarding the general difference between plant and animal cells? Okay, between plant and animal cells. See one thing guys, plant cell have cellulose, cell wall, while animal cell do not. This is right guys, plant have a cell wall, but animal have no cell wall. And cell wall is made up by cellulose. Even, even whenever you read the ninth standard of NCRT book, biology book, this is already mentioned guys. That's why I spoken in the previous lesson, at least minimum six to 10 standard of NCRT, you all papers should read once. The one statement is right. The second one, plant cell do not have plasma membrane unlike animals. This is absolutely wrong, guys. Actually, plant cell have also plasma membrane, but plant cell have an outer cell wall, inner cell membrane. Okay, plant, suppose this is a plant cell. Suppose this is a plant cell. In the case of plant cell, outer layer is cell wall. Inner layer is cell membrane or plasma membrane. Inner layer is what? Cell membrane or plasma membrane. Inner layer is what? Cell membrane or plasma membrane. Okay, what happened in the case of animal cell? Animal cell have no cell wall. The animal cell have no cell wall, so ultimately the outer layer is what? Outer layer is a cell membrane. So this, so here UPSC is telling plant cell do not have a plasma. No, no, no. Plant cell have a plasma membrane, but plasma, plasma membrane or cell membrane is a lower layer. So here UPSC is wrong. And animal cell here, the outer layer is a cell membrane. So the second statement is wrong. First statement is right. Mature, mature plant cell has only one large vacuole. This is right, guys. Plant have a one large vacuole. Plant have a one vacuole and this is large in size. But animal have a animal have a more more number of vacuoles, but they are small in size. They are small in size. So here, 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 this is uh, here. The third point is also right. The one and third statement right. That's a very basic question, and that's why I spoke in you guys. Please, I am again requesting you 6 to 10 standard of NCRT book, you read it. Very soon on the Unacademy YouTube platform, I'll also help you to provide you 6 to 10 standard of NCRT based book studies that is relevant for your all the entire examinations in English medium and I'll upload here guys, I'll come on the live session with every everyone. So ultimately this is the entire discussion and here I'll request to all of you guys kindly go on this telegram group and go and take all the entire lessons, all the entire PDF and even the all the videos link here everything I mentioned there. So save your time, download this PDF. See an academy profile, my an academy profile where my plus classes and iconic classes are available that you can see here on the screen guys, an academy.com oblique at the rate of Ravi Piagri 2010. During joining any of the courses, you must have to use Ravi UPSC code, extra 10% discount, you will get it during joining any courses guys. It's an iconic subscription as the best subscription for all of you guys with one of the mentorship you will get it and one of the tutor will come and help you in the case of all the main question answer practices, study planning and open house with the educators. Even here you people can also directly connect with me guys. See one thing more guys, don't miss it during the joining of the general studies courses, either plus or iconic subscription, Ravi UPSC is the code for all of you. So this benefit you don't miss it whenever you use the Ravi UPSC code, okay, so extra 10% discount you will get it during joining any courses. Not only does, not only for the general studies courses even guys, optional courses when you are going to join, still in the case of Ravi UPSC if code you will use it, 10% extra discount in the fees you will also get it. See one thing more and very beautiful statement like here I'll tell you guys 0% EMI also available. Okay, if anybody have a financial crunch and all so you can get this benefit here.
from an academy see an academy store is a good news for all of you now it's a open this outlet is available in delhi and see the address you can see on the screen and now here is a interaction with me also here in this at this place 30th pusa road old rajendranagar near metropolar 121 delhi so now you people can come and connect with me on this an academy store regarding your doubts and discussions now come now this is dream with an academy reach your is here our learners love that all the all the ratings you can see of 50000 plus the first time in india like one of the one of the platform where these these numbers of uh, people are connecting for the online test and all printed comprehensive notes 20000 plus questions practice sessions mcqs and live mentorship all benefit you will get here at one place okay see guys last year i'll tell you like science and technology environment courses are already launched now okay and now with the science and technology environment courses now you people can connect with me okay uh, science and technology courses already one session is already completed the session one is completed environment is running now guys it is running now and these both two subject have a good weightage in your prelims examination 30 to 35 so you cannot miss and even avoid these two courses for civil services if you are serious aspirant see the courses are running now review UPSC is by code during joining any courses kindly use it you will get extra benefits and see upsc csc batches for 2020 2022 and 2020 2023 even right now going to start on the 16 march 2022 courses the mcq based in the bilingual and 2023 batches the bilingual further is running now from 16 march onward so don't miss it guys and today even you people are getting the benefit of the fees rebate and all you already know very well see thank you everyone even subscribe this channel of youtube channel of an academy or english medium platform to connect with me and all the other entire faculties of an academy those are going to take your class in the english medium so now english medium classes english medium students now you people are getting the benefit to connect with me as you all people have read out my all the earlier lessons uh, even my books so now you have opportunity to connect with me here on the live sessions so don't miss to like and share these videos and for the pdf guys you will go and download on the telegrams so thank you everyone god bless you all the best bye